Fellow Collingwood Magpies fans, before we dive into this, I'd like to ask you a big favor. Don't forget to smash that like button on this video and hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop on all things related to our beloved team. You won't want to miss what we've got to share today, trust me. It's with pride and passion that we talk about our Magpies, a team dedicated to improving themselves each day to bring home some incredible results. That's why it's crucial that you stick around until the end of this video because we've got a bombshell revelation about our club's past and future. Now, let's get down to business. Nathan Buckley, the former Collingwood coach, has made a confession that's tugging at the heartstrings of every die-hard fan like you and me. He's revealed that the mega contract awarded to Brody Grundy in 2019, considered the fairest contract in history, had serious consequences for our team and for Grundy himself. Buckley admitted that the decision to trade Grundy at the end of the 2019 season was on the table, but the football department was instructed to scrape together the funds required to lock in that seven-year deal. Unfortunately, this maneuver couldn't halt the slide of our team, and Buckley deeply regretted what it did to the core of the squad during his last two seasons as head coach. Our team took a tumble in the middle of the 2021 season, and the bold decision to keep Grundy's contract saw the departure of key players like Adam Trellor, Jaden Stevenson, James H., and Tom Phillips. If Grundy had been traded at the end of 2019, he would have been a consecutive Copeland Trophy winner, and we probably would have looked stronger. Hindsight is a wonderful thing, but it would have been better for the club and for Brody, Buckley said. Nathan Buckley also confirmed that Collingwood's board stepped in to prevent the football department from offering a trade for Grundy. Internal discussions contemplated this alternative, but the final decision has proven to be a burden for both the club and Brody.